Fox Hollow fam, and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. I'm Todd, and you know, fall is just right around the corner. What makes you think of this time of year? Could it be the cold weather, blankets, fall foliage, or what about those awesome fall flavors that you see this time of year, like pumpkin spice, hot chocolate, or apple? Today I'm going to combine one of those fall flavors with one of my favorite desserts. Today we're going to make apple spice gobs. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. All right, first off, you're going to start off with two cups of good old-fashioned apple cider. If you're not sure what the difference between apple cider and apple juice, take this bit of advice from my buddy Ned Flanders. If it's clear and yellow, you've got juice there, fella. If it's tangy and brown, you're in cider town. You want to reduce the two cups down to half a cup and make sure it's boiling over medium high heat. Now that we're down to half a cup of cider, we're going to get this in our measuring cup here and let it cool down. While our cider is cooling here, we're going to start on our dry ingredients. You're going to start off with three cups of flour. With that, you're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of salt. And just go ahead and whisk this together here quick. Get everything combined. All right, now that we got our dry ingredients whisked together, we're gonna start off with our next round with a stick of butter, melted, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, and then three quarter of a cup of sugar. And we're just gonna mix, mix this up there. Alright, so now that we've got our butter and our sugars blended here, we're going to add, on top of that, we're going to add three tea tablespoons of vegetable oil, one of our secret ingredients here, three quarter of a cup of applesauce, two eggs, and a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll go ahead and mix this here. Now that we've got our wet ingredients mixed together here, we're going to add the dry ingredients from earlier. Get all that out here. And we're going to mix that. And one last thing I forgot to mention here, the apple cider that we cooked down from earlier, we're going to add that to the mixture. Trust me, when you guys have these, these are going to be so moist and yummy, so I'm really excited to be making these for you. Alright, we got everything mixed together here, and we're going to get ready and use our trusty cookie scoop. Get these nice and even, and get them on some parchment paper. Our oven is preheated for 350 degrees and let's get our cookies in the oven here. Get 
Going to set our timer for 13 minutes. And when we're done here, we're going to have apple spice gobs ready to serve. All right, our timer went off, and let's see how we did. Oh, you guys get some of the cider from here. Get a close-up of these. We're going to let these cool here for a little bit, and then we're going to start on our spiced buttercream icing for the middle. Okie dokie, now for the filling, we're going to do a stick and a half of butter. Get all that out of there. And then we're just going to mix this here quick. Now that we've got the butter mixed up here, we're going to add our smaller ingredients here first, which is half a teaspoon of cinnamon. An eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. All that in there. An eighth of a teaspoon of ginger. Three tablespoons of apple cider. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. And go ahead and mix these up here quick. Now we're going to add four cups of powdered sugar, a little at a time. So we'll go ahead and get this started here. All right, we got this mixed together here and we're gonna get it ready for our piping bag and ice our cookies. All right, let's go ahead and fill our cookies here. And trust me, when you guys have a bite of these, these things are awesome. You can ask anybody who's tried the samples here from earlier this week. Uh, Brody, Clay, um, my mom, anybody who's had a bite of these, these are just wonderful. And I'm really excited to be showing you guys how to make these here today. All right, now it's time to see how we did here. Cookie in hand, all iced. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You taste the apple, the cinnamon. Thumbs up. Wrapping up today, I want to leave you with this bit of wisdom from the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. The best revenge is massive success. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and stay tuned for future shows.